Bonjour gamers, Cody here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Guys, we have finally received the update for the update. That's right, we finally have a release date for the June update. So we're going to be going over it. They shared a ton of information on what we're going to be receiving, what we can expect. And I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on about the June update. But before we jump into it, sub to the channel if you like my videos. It lets you know whenever I post. If you like my videos, make sure to like them. And check me out on Twitch. I am always streaming if you are hearing my voice right now i am probably going to be live on twitch so click that link in the description box down below and lastly i'm going to be hosting a 100 dollars steam gift card giveaway once my youtube channel hits 15k subscribers so if you guys want to be eligible for that you gotta smash down <laughs> that subscribe button <laughs> now let's jump into the video so i don't want to give anyone a panic attack uh, but i am going to have to be a right side of your screen cody today because I don't want to cover the actual patch notes. As we always do with patch notes videos, I do need to sound on the bottom right of the screen, so I apologize to all my homies with OCD. They start out by telling us, yes, we are actually getting an update in June. When in June? Mid-June. It's just down the center, baby. You know what I'm saying? June 30th. <laughs> we're going to be getting Vicus, and we're going to be getting Ice Turtle. I'm not going to pre pretend to know how to pronounce that. This is Ice Chromanium, uh, Frost Turtle Man. Pretty cool. Another Guardian Raid. I'm down for that. Uh, Vicus, Booba Lady. Who doesn't love that? They also announced we are going to be getting the Stronghold Research Honing buff for our 1460 characters, which means we will get a buff from going from 1370 to 1415. So it's going to be significantly cheaper to push your alts into Vaulton. I'm personally super happy about this. I'm excited to get my probably Zerker into some Vaulton. And I do feel for some people who actually pushed their alts beforehand because they had specified that we are not going to be receiving it. Uh, a lot of people in my chat yesterday had already pushed their characters. There were some people who had literally pushed their characters yesterday night to 1415, and then we got the announcement of the honing buff. I feel for those players, and it really, really sucks. I wish this was something that they had communicated earlier, so people didn't, uh, you know, just push their characters because they were told that we weren't getting the buff. Obviously, I am still super happy we're getting the buff. It is something that I am, I, we absolutely need in the game, and, you know, it's going to help every character after the first. If you did already push your characters to 1415, you know, you'll always take advantage of this, and it always benefits you. Uh, but I do wish that I had kind of had communicated this a little bit earlier because I feel like a lot of people were like, well, we're not getting it. I want more characters involved and I'm just going to push, you know. Next is Yaz's Jar. They talk about that they are actually going to be removing it from this update. Now, for those who don't know, Yaz's Jar is essentially like a gacha system kind of <laughs> where you just melt down skins and then roll through a gacha system or like a loot box system where you get a chance at your legendary skins and then you get a chance at their, of the appropriate color. This costs a ton of gold or a ton of real money. Now, obviously, skins in this game do give you a benefit. Does the benefit make that big of a difference, especially in our version of the game? Not really. To be honest, it's not that big of a difference. In the way, way, way late game, it is something that will make a difference because obviously you're getting a 1% or 2% extra damage bonus does have a much larger reach once we're like juiced out of our minds and we're not getting power as easily uh, but right now this wouldn't be something that would make a massive difference but i do like that they are taking it out of the game if this is something that they plan on reworking i'm not a fan of this sort of system i don't like gotcha systems i don't like loot box systems um i mean this is a system that even in korea they don't like very much this seems like a very predatory system if they just take it out now to re-release it in its exact same state then I feel like just release it because I feel like there's a lot of people who just want the drip. They don't care about the stats. They just want their character to have that skin. And so it's like if you're going to put in a predatory system, just put it in whatever, right? However, based off what they were saying, it seems like they understand that it's predatory. It seems like they understand that it's very exploitative, that's very, very expensive. Especially in the West where we have a ton of arm tiers. We have a very big arm tier problem. And so putting something that costs a lot of money like this into the game might cause people to arm tier like crazy because... You know, I don't know if it's going to end up where it's going to just be around RMT prices, right? Whatever it sells at in the auction house will be based around how much people can RMT off of bots and whatever. So I think that taking something like this out and re-examining it and putting it back into the game is absolutely the right choice. However, they didn't specify that they are reworking the system. They just spoke about how they feel like it can be very expensive. They don't want to give people or make people feel like they need the power or they need to swipe uh, because they are aware that it is a very expensive system, either gold-wise or money-wise. So hopefully the fact that they are, you know, kind of communicating that like, yes, we understand this is a very expensive system. It can make people kind of feel like they should be swiping that we might want to rework it. But if this just comes in the same in the same state as it is now, I mean, just release this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Now on to the juicy part. Every destroyer just wet their pants. 
we're getting a ton of player gifts. We're getting some honing materials. I personally feel like this is pretty sweet. This looks like we're kind of getting that pack that we had seen in the shop last week, the Punica support pack or whatever it was, uh, but just kind of given to us for free. So we're going to be getting five destruction stone packs, f uh, 12 guardian stone packs, and then 10 honing shard packs. This is going to be huge if you're pushing some more alts through tier 1, tier 2. This can be very, very helpful. Uh, even if you're pushing to 1570 for the first time, or hell, even if you're pushing to 1415 or 1445, 1460. This is huge because no matter what, there is a part of this that is going to be very, very helpful if you're pushing to really high item levels. Obviously, honest shards are always nice. Stones, destructions, guardians are always good. If you're pushing low level characters, obviously shards are always fantastic. So, I am happy that they're giving us the honing materials, but the spiciest little bit is the Makoko skins. Destroyers will now have their best in slot armor in the game, which I'm very happy about. Uh, I'm personally really excited for these. I, I, you guys know this about me. I love the cutesy, like, kind of like, you know, obviously not fantasy skins. I have been super excited to get these, and I actually didn't know there was a bunch of different uh, colors like this. I knew that there was the Christmas ones, and I knew that there was the green one, but I didn't know there was the, the galaxy ones and the rainbow one. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up. I'm thinking probably the purple one, uh, rainbow one, or maybe one of the Christmas ones because I'm a, kind of a sim for Christmas, to be honest. Uh, but one thing I will say is that if anyone picks this specific costume, uh, I will... I, listen, I you need help. You're the reason why there's suffering in the world. I You scare me, and I, I don't want you in my groups. You intimidate me on a deep, fundamental, very primal level. Now, we also are going to be getting other skins in the shop. We're going to be receiving the Shadows of Stern collection, which I am not the biggest fan of. Although, I will say, I'm expecting some warriors to pull off the Macho Man Randy Savage look. I don't see anyone in the Slim Jim cosplay. I will be very, very disappointed in every single warrior subclass. On top of the Stern skin set, we will also be receiving the Umar collection. Now... I actually kind of like how these look. I'm going to be honest. Out of all the, like, I guess, like, fantasy uh, skins we've received, these are probably my favorite. Uh, this is the warrior subclass one. I feel like this looks pretty drippy. This is the fighter, so all the martial artist subclasses. This is hunter, so, with, like, Deadeye and uh, Bowman. And then this is the magician. Magician's always got so many frills, man. <laughs> uh, I kind of like these. I'm going to be honest. I'm a really big fan of the fighter ones. I really enjoy this one. And I think the third one right here. And then all the warrior ones look really, really good. Uh, I think out of all the, like, I guess, like, fantasy skins we've received, I think this is probably my favorite line so far. The only thing I'm hoping is that we actually get the opportunity to dye it, because what I've been noticing is that every time they release a fantasy-style skin set or whatever it is, they always give us a version that cannot be dyed, and I want to be able to dye my skins. <laughs> They also mentioned the growth support packs. I actually made a video on this last week going over the value of it and what comes in it. If you guys want to see that, I'll have a post in the description box uh, linking you to the video. Uh, I think it's a pretty good pack. It just gives you some extra honing mats. I believe you were able to buy three and they're like $10 each. Uh, so I'm happy they're adding that back into the shop. And they just kind of close out by saying that they never want things in the shop to feel needed or to kind of pressure you to spend money. They always want it to be and feel optional, which I think is obviously the right path to go for. Uh, they do mention that we're going to be receiving more honing mats and more progression in different ways. They mentioned, you know, the express mission pass in a way where we're going to be getting more progression events. Uh, they mentioned the power pass or the Punica power pass that they had announced in the previous roadmap that's going to be coming later on in the summer. And they, have, of course, have announced that we're going to be receiving more events. I assume there's going to be an event coming with Vicus because we've had an event running since literally the game came out. So uh, I assume there's going to be another, you know, some sort of island event or some sort of event happening with Vicus. Obviously, they didn't mention this in the... Uh, post this is just my own like you know intuition or I guess just like based off their track record I'd be surprised if we didn't get another event with Vicus as well all in all I think this is a fantastic update I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm excited for the new garden raid I'm ex super excited to start doing Vicus I'm very happy I'm gonna be able to start pushing some characters uh, to 1415 with the honing buff also I like I said in the previous video I think that you know even based on what they said here I think the delay was warranted being able to get get rid of bots they've done a fantastic job of you know detecting bots a lot earlier and so uh, the player numbers have kind of reflected that. The economy has been kind of settling. Uh, and they said that also the delay was had something to do with having to get uh, communicating with Smallgate and finding out if they could put the honing buff into this update because that's something that people really, really wanted. Uh, I think all in all, it was worth it. I think this was worth the wait. I think the game is in a much uh, better state, to be honest, <laughs> because of the wait. And again, this content's not going anywhere. I'm happy it's coming out. It's still coming out in June. We're going to have a good time. And I cannot wait to get my cheeks clapped in Vicus is right. But as always, that's my opinion, and I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys excited for the update? Do you feel like it was worth the wait? Are you excited we're getting the honing buff? 
Do you like the new skins? I want to hear your opinions on this patch in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching the video to the end, I appreciate it very much. It helps support me a ton, so thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like my content, be sure to sub to the channel, like the videos if you like them, and check me out on Twitch. I'm streaming all the time, so click that link in the description box, and I will be live. <laughs> Lastly, join the community Discord. It's filled with a bunch of incredible people. If you're looking for people to hang out with, chat with, play some Lost Ark with, it is definitely the place you want to be. Everyone is very, very welcoming and very kind, so I would really, really recommend that you check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Lie, lie.